My grandfather, James Goodallens Jr., um, his family, the Dollins family, came over from Ireland in the early 1830s. Came from Ireland in the 1830s, early 1830s, to Kentucky. Spent a couple years in Kentucky, and then came from Kentucky to Waco. And um, we've been on this piece of property since 1859, 1860. So, you know, we're going on 165 years. Uh, we're getting close. I think come January we would be there. Um, so his family worked very hard to have it. Um, they were in the dairy business in uh, 1902, 1902 to 93, and um, this is where he grew up. You know, his life lessons with his his father and his grandfather, learning to hunt, fish, and uh, run cattle, and uh, the dairy business. And so, why it's so important to me is because when somebody works for that period of time to keep a, a piece of property under one fence. Um, they obviously did it for the reasons of they wanted to hold it for very long times. And, and actually, all this piece of property um, used to be under one fence. Um, and prior to the Dollins family having it, it was a part of the Kellum family. And the Kellums had at one point been the largest landowner of property in the Waco city limits. I think they had 1,400 acres. Well, 1,400 acres back in, you know, the end of the 1830s was a lot of land uh, at that period of time. So um, I, I believe they farmed uh, cotton all through here for many years. Um, and from that period of time on, right after they you know, got it from the Kellums, um, we've been on it ever since. And they worked hard for it. I'm sure other people tried them at one point or another to grab it and didn't succeed because of the reasons that I'm here today speaking to you about it. And so uh, I feel an obligation and a duty um, to conserve this now that I have full control of it um, for hopefully another 160 plus years, um, God willing. Uh, but I, you know, my, my initiative is to put it into a trust and or an easement and where it's protected that way after I'm long gone, um, you know, somebody else down the way will have the same appreciation that I did for it and that will feel the same obligation to continue it on because they worked hard for it. And um, I, I think today there's a lot of families that sell property and let it go that have a legacy 50, 100 you know, plus years and they might not feel the same way about it. But I think today a lot of that's happening and, and I feel an obligation to, to go ahead and continue it on and to not be a, a statistic that goes ahead and sells property for X amount of dollars and moves on. I, you know, I think they fought for a long time for this, um, you know, working, whoever came after it. Um, and so that's my obligation and, and I'm gonna fulfill that to my grandfather, my grandmother and his family. And I'm gonna work my damnedest to make sure that uh, this place continues to uh, stay as the Dollins legacy.